J. Cole once said, you haven't made it until you have haters. Well today, I'm gonna go and look at some more of my stupid little haters who can't recognize the greatest YouTuber of all time right in front of them. Bro's talking about crybabies as if he's even hit puberty yet. Oh poor little Norman, I think you forget that we can see everything on your page because it's all public. And we can clearly see you have not reached post puberty yet. You are very obviously prepubescent still. So please get off of my page trying to accuse me of such shit when you still look like you're fucking paying. And leave it to the Polish Catholic to get offended. Would you look at that? Another pressed individual by the kids to I don't mean to offend, but you're unironically clapped if you believe that. Leave it to Andrew Christian to not even recognize Christianity. Tell me, Andrew. Where in the Last Supper is Jesus fucking blue? Tell me where in the Last Supper or is there a Greek halo on top of the woman's head? Tell me where in the Last Supper is Jesus wearing a crown of grapes to represent wine? Tell me where is Jesus the God of wine? Also leave it to the all-loving Christian to result to insults and calling people names. Isn't that funny? Get that nail polish off, man. How about I get you off, man? How about that? You don't talk to me that way ever again. Otherwise, I'll get you off, best believe me. Respect. I'm sure his friends are devout atheists who think since 2013 and think it's still funny to make fun of Christianity. He'll have an event that makes him become Christian. First of all, get the fuck out of here. I don't think it's funny to make fun of Christians. I never made fun of Christians. I always made an educational video about religious psychosis that you made about Christians. So that's fucking your fault, buddy. Second of all, I will never become Christian because being Christian is what almost made me commit suicide. That's some real shit right there. If I were to go back to being Christian, I'd probably be fucking dead. So I would rather not have that ever happen in my life again because I like being alive, believe it or not. Third of all, again, not disrespecting Christians, everything I said in my video that you commented on was just outright factual. I never said anything that was an insult. I never said anything that was meant to be an insult. I just stated objective facts the whole way through. That's what I do in my videos. They educate by stating facts and using a bit of comedy on the side as well. I don't think it's funny to make fun of anyone for any specific reason, nevertheless something like a religious belief. However, I do think it's good to point out religious psychosis because it makes people do crazy shit like kill people. So I, I don't know how you can get mad at me for that. Sorry, Chief. This ain't it. You're gonna unalive your channel before it even starts. You'll realize being edgy isn't as cool as it used to be, and you'll more likely be a Christian. For one, I don't try to be edgy, I be funny. I don't be edgy, I be funny, because being edgy isn't funny. If you're gonna do dark humor, you have to do it smart, which is what I do, because I'm smart and not dumb, unlike you. And while well, we already went over this, we'll never be Christian ever again. Would rather fucking die than ever do that again. I'm gonna kill my channel. Don't fucking make me laugh. This is the best my channel's done in the past fucking 10 years that I've been making content. I'm getting thousands of fucking views and getting hundreds of fucking subs. So, like, I genuinely don't know how you're gonna sit there and try and tell me who has been doing YouTube for the past 10 years that I'm gonna kill my channel. And this has literally been the best my channel's ever been doing. I have serial killer vibes. You wanna think so, you think that. Well, guess what, buddy? It's not just a vibe, it's a damn fact, buddy. And I'm willing to cut that little throat of yours. That's, uh, that's part of the character, it's not real. How can you be so jealous of someone? How about you go and get some hot tour for the first time, kid? First of all, not jealous of the hot tour girl. I also explicitly said in my video that it wasn't a hate video and I wasn't jealous, but I don't think you have the best media literacy, Trevor. Second of all, I think you forget that your videos are public or something, because I can see what you look like. This doesn't look like a man who gets pussy all the time. This doesn't look like a man who's ever even had contact with a woman before. So don't try and sit there and act like you be getting fucking head or some shit, because buddy, I can tell you're the 40 year old fucking virgin. It's also weird to want to ride and defend the hawk to a girl this badly. Like, I don't think she's gonna spit on that thing for you, buddy. L video? Oh no, Kevin said it was an L video. Oh god. Oh no. Kevin's in here like, how'd you know I was a 12 year old who likes punk? It's pretty obvious, Kevin. You have a Cristiano Ronaldo profile picture. You are a bum, bro. LOL. Now, frankly, there's a lot I could say to this, uh, fella right here. Gatton. Um, there's a lot I could say about him. 
But luckily, Miss Heather Adams got to cooking him in the comments before even I could make a video. So uh, we'll let Miss Heather take over from here. How do we know you're not, hmm? How do we know you're not playing on your parents' phones? Who names their child guy anyway? You're an embarrassment. Maybe think next time before you speak. Absolutely perfectly medium rare cook, Tether. You're not even old enough to gamble or have life experience. Go to school, kid. First of all, you don't need any amount of life experience to know that gambling's stupid and a waste of money. Even a fucking infant knows that gambling is stupid. So you're just exposing yourself as an addict who got mad for being called out as an addict parent. Second of all, I bet you my right toenail has more life experience than you do. So don't ever try and come at me again. Can we get a rest in peace for all the barbers that died in this kid's area? You know what? You don't even fucking get a joke. How about you? You fuck you. You can fucking suck my dick. You don't, even, you don't even get a fucking good comedic ending or anything. You're the last comment. I'm not even gonna fucking give you the spotlight. Get the fuck off my stream. You don't even get the spotlight anymore. Fucking fuck you, bitch. So I'm sitting there, barbecue sauce on my titties.